Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the Swamp Fever Guidance Tape, an MLP Infection AU Analog Horror. Now this was requested to me back in January and I am so late, it is already May, and I have not looked at this once. That changes, uh, starting today. Basically, I didn't exactly know what I was going to record and this kind of popped up on my YouTube for You page and I said, "Woom." There we go. Content. But not only that, it was requested heavily at one point, and I just completely overlooked it. So let's jump right into the Swamp Fever Guidance Tape, the MLP Infection AU Analog Horror. We're just going to see what we're getting ourselves into here. Swamp Fever and You. Brought to you by the Equestrian Research Department. Okay. Welcome to your Swamp Fever Guidance Tape. Today, hey, we will That's take the highest a look at the symptoms of Swamp Fever, along with the step-by-step -step infection prevention plan to keep okay. you and your loved ones safe during this pandemic. Let's begin, shall we? Of course. Symptoms. Unlike the common cold, or even a nasty flu, swamp fever is an extremely fatal infection that can be spread fairly easily if every pony doesn't take the necessary precautions. While it is called a fever, swamp fever is not just that. While a fever will be the starting process of the first stage of the infection, so fever symptoms will include headaches, chills, Ooh. fatigue, coughing, and body aches. So kind of like a normal the fever. The stage is no different from a flu, but as time goes on, the second stage will only amplify the infection. Oh. As stage two begins to develop, you will start noticing blotches of discolored skin along your body. Strange. Along with an amplified cough. As the cough continues, you may notice phlegm and blood bubbling up. Oh, Jesus. This will continue with stage two, along with the following symptoms such as violent sneezing, increased heart rate, restlessness, delirium, along with signs of anemia and emaciation. Damn, that's not good at all. Before we get into stage three, let's discuss what happens to the body during stage four, the final stage of swamp fever. Let's meet Cherry Dew. Cherry was out playing near the swamp with all of her friends. Okay. But little did Cherry know, the lily pads near the swamp carried a spore pod that found its way towards Cherry. Uh -oh. After the lily pad spreads its spores, a parasite found its way inside of Cherry, infecting her with swamp fever. Here is Cherry before the infection. Cute. Lovely. And here is Cherry after the final stage of the infection. What the f fuck am I looking at? That ain't cherry no more. What in the world? Whatever it did, the poor little cherry, it messed her up. Damn. Patient zero, that's cherry, yeah. She was only a child. The final stage of swamp fever will see the infected pony's body go through a massive change. The skin okay. will harden and resemble bark found on a tree. The uh. limbs can still remain flexible and mobile. Past the skin, the body retains all vital organs, okay. although bones are dissolved within the body, leaving only behind muscle, organs, nerves, and veins. The bodies also start developing their own sporopods to help oh. spread the pollen to reproduce and repeat its cycle. Spores from a final stage infected are incredibly contagious. Well, I figured so. Be kept at a minimum. Those ponies within the final stage are extremely hostile towards non-infected ponies and will attack if approached. Their strength is heavily amplified, though okay. their speed is slower than its counterpart. Good. The stage three infected. Taking a look at the discolored spots from stage two, we can compare them to stage three as the pony's flesh will begin to rot at an accelerated speed. 
Along Wrong. with the rot, the infected pony will begin being hostile towards others and will act aggressively. Unlike the first and second stages, the third stage can spread the infection through its own means. A bite, scratch, or even transfer of blood will cause infection. Seems about right. So make sure to wash your hands and face after dealing with your infected friends. The parasite within the stage three infected will manipulate the brain in order to keep it well fed, forcing the host to seek out meat in a delirious, aggressive, and feral manner. That means a pony infected at this stage will either consume itself or it will consume other ponies. Okay. Their hunger cannot be satisfied and they will attack if given the chance. So, unlike your favorite zombie movie, they do keep their brain. They keep their memories. And they will use that against you. They really? Will they will scream. Do not let them in. They are not alive. They are not your friends. Not anymore. They are not your family. Not anymore. Put them out of their misery. There is no prevention. All of my friends are dead. What the fuck? She promised a cure. She lied. Who's she? They took my daughter away. Is this Cherry's parents? They ran tests. They mutilated her. I can still hear her screams. What? To hell with Equestria. I'm sorry for this. But if you're watching this, there is still time for you. Oh, I thought it was going to jump scare me. Honestly, I was going to say that's bullshit. I left the gates open. It's almost... There's like a minute left. What? Escape here. Slow them what they did to my... How dare you? Wasn't able to read that. Escape here. Show them what they did to my little dewdrop. Who dewdrop? Audio log. Patient zero. Test twenty seven. What the? What the fuck? What is going on? Swamp Fever Guidance Tape, made by Ryuji Saiki. Okay. Okay. I'll admit it's disturbing. It's definitely, definitely eerie. Poor little, uh, poor little Cherry, too. I don't know what the hell. They did her really dirty. And apparently the audio we were hearing, I'm assuming that was supposed to be Dewdrop. Man, that was, that was something. That was something. I can see why a lot of people requested this too. I can definitely see it. So anyway, um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, dislike if you didn't. I don't really care. It's your guys' choice, not mine. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. If you want to check this out for yourself without my annoying ass in your way, which I'm not really annoying, at least not to me, but I can be the sum. This will be linked in the description in case you want to actually just see it without my commentary over it. And... That's all I really got to say. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Silver